Hey everybody, this is gonna be a quick video about this One is All Pet Groomer. It's like a little mini vacuum, but it comes with a bunch of attachments. You can brush your dog, for example, and then the hair just gets sucked down into the hose and into the vacuum container. The trick is for me, the dog that I need it for that has an undercoat is Jaffy. And he is really sensitive to things that are kind of scary. So I'd been looking at this for a while and thinking, yeah, it's nice, but I probably wouldn't be able to use it with Jaffy because he would freak out too much. But the other day it went on sale. Not only did it go on sale, there was a $20 off coupon on top of the sale. So I just jumped on it and figured I will work with Jaffe very slowly and see if I can get him to allow me to brush him with this without being reactive to it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how this works, but I'm also gonna show you how I'm approaching it with Jaffe. So the most important thing to know here right off the bat is that Jaffe does react to the vacuum around the house. So what I'm gonna do just to start is remove the attachment from the vacuum so that it's just a brush like this, right? No sound to be scary, just a brush. Oh, that's a good boy. Look at you, you're so handsome. Yeah. You're gonna be so gorgeous. Yeah. That's a good boy. Now, I have done this with him twice already, so uh, this is not the first time I've done it with him. This is actually about the third time I've done it with just the brush attachment by itself, not attached to the vacuum. You're a good boy. It feels pretty good, don't you think? Yeah? Don't you think it feels pretty good? Your hair gets all roughed up by your collar, so we gotta brush that out and make it soft. Right, boo? You like it though, don't ya? Yeah? It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's okay. Side note, I was able to do this with Hazel with the vacuum on the first time and she was fine with it. Of course, Hazel falls, follows me around the house while I'm vacuuming, so she's not afraid of the vacuum at all. Jaffe used to react to it, bark at it, and try to attack it, but he has gotten to where he'll just go in the other room when I'm vacuuming which is progress for him, but he still doesn't want to be near it. But we're just gonna keep working on this in slow steps. And we're gonna make sure he knows he's a good boy. Yeah. It feels pretty good though, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see this, but <laughs> see how much hair is on there? So I'm hoping that if he continues to let me do this, that I can eventually do it with the vacuum suction on and we can suck all of his hair up into the vacuum and keep him brushed and there will be less hair, careful, on my floor. Don't you think we should brush the other side? You wanna roll over so we can get the other side? You're such a good boy. Good job, Jaffy. That's it. Good job. All right, so now that I've brushed him with this and you can see all of the hair in the brush bristles, what I'm gonna do is just attach it to the hose Right now it's locked in the down position so that the plate stays down and the bristles are out. I'll turn the vacuum on here in a second, it's gonna get loud, but it's actually not that loud, but it's also not exactly quiet either. Everybody makes a, a point to say that it's really quiet and I wouldn't say that it's really quiet, honestly. Uh, it is a vacuum, so especially in order to get the hair to go into the, the hose, you do have to turn it to the highest suction, which does mean that it gets louder. So I'll turn this on and you can see how the hair just goes, gets sucked into the hose. 
So right now the bristles are out, but then you can push the button on the back and lower the bristles so all that hair goes down into the, the hose. Just like that. If you have a dog who is afraid of the vacuum, there's no reason why you can't just disconnect the brush attachment, brush your dog without the vacuum, and then attach it to the hose. The hair's not gonna go anywhere because it gets stuck in the bristles, right? So once you're done brushing your dog, then you can attach this to the vacuum hose and um, let the plate go back out and suck all the hair in the hose. I'll show you the other attachments that come with it. So this is the rest of the stuff that it comes with. Uh, the piece that's missing here is the brush that I just showed you, but it also comes with this kind of brush with the kind of the, the fine teeth. It all works the same way with the button on the back that uh, pushes the teeth out so you can brush your dog, brush your pet with the teeth out like this, and then when you're ready to suck it into the hose, you just push this back up and the teeth retract and it allows the hair to be sucked into the hose. So there's that attachment. And then you've got these furniture cleaning attachments as well, so you can use it to clean your furniture if you'd like you've got tools to trim hair as well if you have a long haired dog. This is the clipper slash razor tool. This is the one that you recharge via USB-C. It came already charged up and ready to go, but it also has a Dremel tool. And then of course it comes with that stand that you can set all the tools on when you're not using them. Anyway, even if you have reactive dogs that don't like the vacuum, I would recommend this. You can use it without having the vacuum turned on. Of course, the Dremel tool and the clippers are a different story. You do have to have that turned on, but that actually does have a very low volume. But the vacuum, yeah, it's not like a full-size vacuum, but it's for a dog that's fearful, it's still pretty, pretty noisy. But you can use the brush tools without the vacuum being on. Pretty happy with this so far, and I just thought I would share it. So hopefully this will help somebody out there. Thanks, and we'll catch you on the next one.